Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I Chris actually got asked this question. Chris, what's the question that a viewer asked you? Um, and why are viewers asking you questions? I don't know, but it was about blinding. It wasn't about qualities of, C of a CRC. No, no, we're not doing... Oh, okay, so that's a video for later. Okay, so how do I'm, we get this I'm, one? That was for me. Okay, the quality... What makes a good CRC? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a good one? We don't know. So what would you say are the top three qualities, right? And what I'm saying is not like, it's not that they need to be detail oriented, right? What three things, what three facets of being a coordinator do they need to pay special attention to, right? What are the three top priorities? Um, just be organized. I think that's, that's one of the big ones because you have to know where things are sometimes. You might get a call in the middle of doing something else and you have to know where something is because someone needs it right away. Okay. That's one. Um, you gotta, you gotta be, you gotta be able to work with patients. So when you're going to work with patients, you're going to talk to them. You're gonna Empathetic. Ask them. Yeah. You gotta, they, you gotta have some sort of report because they're going to ask you, you're going to have to ask them questions and they're going to have to answer. And if they don't feel comfortable, they're not going to give you the right answers or they might not give you the full, the full answer to your question. Uh, what about interacting with the monitors? So this is very important for coordinators, in my opinion. What do you guys think? The... Yes, that's important. Um, I'm sure where you are now in your career path, that's even more important, right? Me? Yeah. Uh, as a yeah. part-time CRA. Oh, as a CRA, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I don't, I don't consider myself now. a real CRA. Yeah, yeah, you guys need to... You know what I really like, and you should start doing this? When... Um, a CRA comes in with previous action items, okay, from a previous previous uh, visit. You, as the coordinator, before anyone tells you, should go through their follow-up letter, action items, with them before they get started. They're going to get out of there an hour quicker. Maybe two. Okay. So what a great idea, right? That's an awesome idea. We've, we've discussed this before. Right. Um, so, really, this is more what I'm going for, right? So... Dan and I discussed this often. The most important facet of bringing on repeat clinical trials from a sponsor is enrollment, okay? But secondary, much less important, but still somewhat important, is, is different components of the data, right? So how important is it to get data entered quickly, right? I would say it's relatively important. Right. I mean, in the contract, it says usually what four days. Yeah, and in the in the site SOP, you have to follow whatever is in your SOP. Sure. As far as yeah. how quickly data needs to be entered. So I would say that that's a very important item. I would also say um, answering queries. Right? Answering queries. I would add learning to prioritize because you when you especially when you're busy, you're gonna have numerous monitors asking you different things, different people from different studies requesting different things. You've got to figure out, okay, which one's important, which one's high priority, which one's urgent, which one's important but not urgent. So you've got to kind of figure those things out so you're not overwhelmed. So what three items, do you, in your opinion, Dan, do you think brings on repeat business that a coordinator can help with, aside from recruitment? Aside from recruitment. Aside from <laughs> recruitment, um, responding to queries. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, yeah, right? You would agree with that? Yeah, but more importantly is uh, protocol compliance. Yeah? Yeah. So would you say those three things, entering data, queries, and protocol compliance? I would say protocol compliance is first. Number one. Yeah. Right? You don't want too many deviations. Protocol compliance, um, a clean regulatory, like neat regulatory maintenance and then those other things with entering data and answering queries okay so those my opinion. Top four yeah but the data is you can make it one but the metrics so sponsors are not keeping metrics on regulatory right uh, they're keeping metrics on um maintenance as for, so study startup they do yeah. they keep right how long does it take yeah yeah, yeah. and then uh They'll follow the action items and how long the action items take to get resolved. Okay. Which 
many times a regulatory is part of those action items. That would it, fall, it makes like half of those. That would fall within the query realm in my opinion, right? It's just getting issues resolved. Action items, getting action items resolved. Do you get action items resolved like ASAP? Mm. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Very convincing. Depending. It depends on uh, depends on a lot of things. But, uh, I love that response. Mm. <laughs> That's good. Good answer, man. Good answer. Well, I mean, to be honest, it's, it's, sometimes you have a lot of a lot of studies going on, so yes, it's hard to get it's exactly important. prioritize. Yeah, and you can't like you need to be an experienced coordinator to know how to prioritize, because if you come in without knowing much and you start prioritizing, you're not going to know, you're going to make assumptions as to what's important. And if you don't have someone like Chris telling you what to focus on, which at this point you don't really need anymore, you, you could figure that out on your own. Oh, yeah. He's very, he's hands off now. Very hands off. Good job, man. Anything else? Goodbye. Key components of <laughs> your partner, that's it. <laughs> Goodbye. We got a good one here. Uh, and then um, action items. So what was it? Action items, which is includes regulatory protocol compliance, and entering data. Entering data with skill at prioritizing mm -hmm. over time. Yep. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you, Chris. Take care. Thank